So radial radial delay, I think, is a really, really effective test to see whether there's something going wrong in the circulatory system around here. Now, remember, you're not Dr. House, OK? The key emphasis is that if you think there's something going on with the cardiovascular system, refer, refer, refer. But this is a really easy test for you to do as a manual practitioner. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to palpate the radial pulse between our left and our right hands. OK, now they should be equal rate and rhythm. That is what I would expect a normal radial radial pulse to feel like. Now, if you're palpating the radial radial pulses of your patient and they're going poof, 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 there is a discrepancy between either side. That is a fail. Now, that could indicate something systemically going wrong in the circulatory system. It could be some form of, I know, pre subclavial coarctation, some atherosclerotic changes. Ultimately, we just don't know. It's a frowny face. It's definitely a referral. So if you're doing a radial radial delay, palpate the radial pulses between the left and the right hand. Check for rate and rhythm. They should be nice and equal. If there's any discrepancy between the left or the right, refer radial radial delay.